Hey guys, I'm a long time no see. It has been a minute since I've made a video. I have a, well, different location. So, if you guys didn't know, I have attempted to make this video here two other times. Let me go let out the dog. Um, you wanna go out? Oh, yeah. Okay, so where am I? All right, so I am over at my dad's. I'm over at my dad's right now. Um, uh, I'm over here because, well, uh, some stuff happened. Some stuff happened. I've uh, talked about it briefly um, to, um, well, my Discord. I uh, made an announcement saying I was drunk. <laughs> God. <clears throat> I was drunk off my mind that night, too. God, but that's not, that's not even half of it. Anyway, so, yeah. I guess I'll go ahead and start. God, this sucks. Believe me, I didn't, like, I didn't expect to be here. I didn't expect to come here for a while. That I'm, uh, I'm here with the, this dog. Here's this dog here. Let's see. Hey, Rex. Rex. See, this guy. This guy, see? See? Yeah, hey, Rex. Right, see, I'm here with Rex at the moment, because, you know, I'm, uh, they're, they're all the way. Uh, my dad's a substitute teacher over at schools, so that's what he's doing right now. And then my siblings are, well, they're over at school. Because um, my dad has kids, right? So, yeah. I'd sit down. Um, uh, but there's not really any chairs in the living room. Actually, this place is actually really nice. Um, if I wanted to, I could go sit over at the kitchen table over there. I kind of just feel like standing. I don't, know. I don't know. I just woke up. It helps me wake up. So, yeah. Um, so, right. Okay, so it all started, like, a few days ago. Okay. So. Uh, so. My little brother had just got home from school. It's like 3.30 p.m., something like that, right? Um, uh, <clears throat> what are you eating? What are you eating? What are you eating? You just started chomping. Can I, can I see your mouth? Can you open? Well, ah. Uh, yeah. Man, now you're rolling over. Okay. Okay. Wow, what a guy. Oh, you're so nice. Ah, don't, that, you peed on me. You peed on me. No. Go outside. Yeah, go outside. Yeah, go outside. I thought you didn't have to pee. Go pee. Yeah. Okay. Rex. Yeah, just, just peed on me. <laughs> I rolled over. That's, that's, that, as he rolled over, should I say. Oh my god. Um, yeah, so I basically, I'm, uh, my, uh, my mission is to babysit. And so, you know. Because Rex is um, a baby. <laughs> because uh, Rex is like six months or nine months. I don't know. Yeah, either way, baby. Baby puppy. Baby dog. Let me just go ahead and spray the floor with this stuff. I don't know where he peed at exactly. He was laying on the ground, so it kind of just went like shooting out. So, <sighs> only a little bit, so it's good. I don't spray too much. Bugs are in this sink, I swear. Anyway, okay. So, right. A few days ago, um, at around 3.30, my little brother had just gotten back home, right? And... Oh, no, you're good. You're good. Okay. Um, yeah, so my little brother had just gotten home, right? And um, right before he had come in, actually... 
my mom and stepdad were talking about like him missing assignments or something like that, right? On the... Oh boy. All right, get the treat. I swear, you keep getting interrupted. I actually had to poop, he had to pee, he had to do everything, so it's the best thing he went outside, actually. Yeah? Yeah. You're a good boy. You're a very good boy. You went outside, you went pee, and you went poo. Wow, you did two in one. Does that mean you get two treats? No. No, but you get, you get an extra. Here you go. Here you go. I am so sorry for the, all the interruptions. I should have just brought you guys with me. Um, yeah, so, okay. Rex is good for the moment, so let's just leave it at that. Um, uh, yeah. I think Rex will last until the end of this video, so let's just do that. Um, so, yeah. Um, my little brother had just gotten home from school, right? Rex, Rex. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. I check something. Okay, never mind. I thought I heard something at the door. You're good. Um, anyway, um, uh, I don't know what you're doing. What are you doing? What are you doing? Um, uh, yeah. So, three days ago, yeah. Three nights? Three nights? Okay. So, about three days ago, um, what are you, what are you, what are you doing now? Go sit down. Go lay down. Go lay down. Yeah. All right. Um, so, yeah. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down somewhere. Let's take her. Um, so yeah, three days ago, my little brother came home from school, and it was like three thirty, right? He comes into the door, and um, my stepdad just starts yelling at him about my about school. That's fine. Honestly, not really, but it's okay compared to the rest. But, um, yeah, so he gets in the door. He just starts yelling at him about, like, how he's missing a couple of assignments. Um, and my little brother's telling him that, you know, oh, like, what is it? I think he thought that he did, he did the assignments that he had, too. He wasn't exactly understanding. He explained it to him. He's like, oh. Something like those weren't due. Something like that. It, um, he, I don't know. Whatever he said, Kevin just thought of it as just lame excuses. Um, uh, Kevin as in my stepdad. Um, uh, we'll just be calling him Kevin from now on. Um, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't really like calling him my stepdad. Um, so Kevin um, uh, just kept yelling at him. Um, but then, you know, I calm down a little bit. It, until, apparently, he gave him a dirty look. Or a bad look. Just something, right? Like, a, a really, really bad look. That's what I was told. Like, it was really bad. Um, like maybe it was like an attitude thing. I'm not sure. Either way. Um, that's what they guessed, anyway. So, he um, uh, decides to like, stomp towards him, you know, so he's, like, just going up towards him, you know, and he, he's, like, telling him, like, you know, don't you do that again, otherwise I'm going to beat your ass. I'm going to take this belt off, blah, blah, blah. Um, he's yelling that. Um, uh, he's getting in his face. Um, thing is, though, he... My little brother was trying to walk away at the same exact time. Um, 
And whenever he was like stomping towards him, he was like towards the stairwell. That was like okay, so best example I could probably give. Entrance of the house. Right? Entrance of the house. Walks about like here. Turn. Stairwell. The house is small. Right? So like, yeah, like he's just walking up there. Because that's what he usually does. He walks in the house. He goes upstairs. Because that's where I am and that's where he's at. Right? And he goes in there. He goes, throws his backpack down, etc. He thought like end a conversation. Right? But apparently before he went up, um, uh, he gave a bad look. So that happened. Um, so, stepdad comes, like, freaking stomping, walking up to him, right, or something. I don't know, he's just a big guy, maybe he's not stomping. Um, uh, anyway, um, uh, so, yeah. He, he was, like, walking to him, going to his face, saying that, you know, like, hey, don't, don't do that, otherwise I'm going to beat your ass, you know, doing that. He just keeps yelling at him for it, just over and over again. And, like, my, my little brother's, like, scared, petrified, crying. And, like, you know, he, he threatened him. He, and, like, it's a, it's a big deal to me. Because I haven't been threatened like that in a very long time since my mother last beat us. Which was like over 15 years ago, right? She didn't do nothing in between that time, right? So it was hard to hear that. On top of that, just the way that he was like treating him at that moment, just like scaring him like that. Like, you don't do that. You don't threaten your child because, oh, they looked at you. Like, it, it's not even like on top of that, my little brother has autism. And he has, like, like, what is it? He has, like, um, he has, like, social issues, kind of like myself. Um, uh, and on top of that, they wear their emotions on their sleeve kind of thing. Like, you, you can see, like, everything. You can see everything. You can see exactly how they are pretty much at any moment. They're extremely, extremely expressive. It's actually very hard not to be expressive. And that's the thing. That's the issue. Like, he's not having an attitude. That's just how he is. He makes his faces, he wears his emotions right there. If he's annoyed, he's going to show that he's annoyed. Guess what? They probably picked up that annoyance as, oh, that's attitude. Screw you. Even though he can't help it. He can't even help it. And then decided to threaten him and scare him for something that he can't even control. Doesn't make any sense. So my little brother, he's, uh, he's 14. I think, like, mentally he's around, like, I don't know, probably, like, 9, 10, you know. Um, uh, either way, I mean, he's not too far behind, but then again, like, it's, I don't know. That, that doesn't really matter so much. The fact is, like, the emotions thing, he doesn't really know how to control them as well. Like, his entire life he's been known as somebody that has anger issues. Whenever he doesn't. He's just extremely expressive. Extremely. Like, whenever you get really mad at something, he gets really mad at something. He shows all of that anger. He doesn't really bottle it up. He doesn't really, like, compartmentalize it. He doesn't, like, express it in a very constructive... No, he just lets it out. Like, just, simple, just as simple as that. Just as soon as possibly can. Like, you know, he never really got the whole, like, oh, you should hide it. He just does it. Like, and if he does understand that, it's really, really hard for him to do it. Like... And that's the thing, like, it's, it can be hard for him to understand some things, it can be hard to try and ask him some things due to his autism on top of that, his mental maturity as a whole. Um, uh, Because some things he just doesn't exactly get yet, you know. Um, uh, Like, whenever I came out as, like, uh, transgender at one time, you know, he didn't really understand that at all. He didn't understand whenever I told him I was non-binary, he didn't really understand a lot of things. Because, you know, he never expected me to ever be anything but his brother. And it's extremely, extremely confusing if I wasn't. You know, once I actually sat down and explained everything to him. Because the first time I told him, it was like over the phone. You know, I could ask and everything. That's an entirely different thing. 
once I was actually in person, I was able to explain things. He was perfectly fine with it, but until then, like, he was extremely perplexed. Um, uh, so, yeah. Although the non-binary thing, he caught on a lot better, because I basically just said, oh, I'm just wanting to be me. I just don't have a label, you know? Like, I'm not really a male, I'm not really a female, I'm just me. And he caught on that real quick, you know? It's like, oh, you're just wanting to be you. Great, you know? Like, exactly, right? So, he took it like a champ. Um, uh, so, yeah, with that in mind, it was fine. Um, but, regardless, yeah. So, I was upset. I was extremely, extremely upset. Because my mother basically promised to never beat us again. And then, oh, it's perfectly fine if he just threatens... If he just threatens my little brother because he's doing something that he can't help. And on top of that, you shouldn't be threatening to beat him in the first place. That's a scare tactic. It's a scare tactic. You're scaring him so that way he'll listen to you. That's the most garbage... It's garbage. Yeah, they'll respect you, right? Like, something about, like, respect, you know? They'll respect you. They'll respect my authority. Someone along those lines, right? Garbage, right? So, I... I'm, like, trying to think about it all, like, as it's going down. Like, as soon as he said that, like, every protective instinct in me was going off. Like, I was like, oh, my God, I gotta get down there. I gotta, like... I gotta say something, do something, etc., right? But, you know, I'm staying up there, I'm biting my tongue. Because I'm like, I'm just going to wait until this is over. If something happens, I'll go down there. Until then, I'm just going to wait. Nothing happens, thankfully. Although he does get, like, very, very upset to the point where I'm kind of questioning whether he is at some points. But then, like, towards the end of it, like, he just kind of, he doesn't even say sorry. He's just like, he finally sees that he's upset. He's like, hey, don't worry about it. You're not in trouble. What? Why'd you threaten him? Why'd you threaten him? Why were you yelling at him? Why were you screaming at him? You change your mind like that? You know, you know. Anyway, right? So, I'm, my, my little brother's just coming up, right? He's coming up. He's sad. He's, he's mad. He's all these things you can see on his face. He's so upset. So, you know, I immediately just go to hug him, you know, like, hey, I get it, it's not okay, I understand, I've been there, it sucks, you know, that's all I said, really, basically, right, just telling him that I understand, I'm there, you know, and then I, uh, after that, I tell him, like, hey, I'm gonna make sure this doesn't happen again, okay? I regret that. I regret saying that. Because I can't, I can't ensure that right now, because I'm not there. Anyway, so, I go downstairs. I, I think while I'm up there, I'm thinking, okay, maybe not talk to my stepdad, or Kevin. Maybe I shouldn't talk to Kevin, okay? Maybe I should talk to my mom, because like I said, my mom promised not to beat us for a while, okay? So, Let's do that, right? Let's go talk to mom. So I go, so I go and think like, okay, if I talk to mom, she's gonna talk to Kevin, and Kevin will reason with her, not so much me, because he sees this fine line between child and parent and thinks like, oh, child can't say anything to parent, and parent is well above child. There's like this huge, huge distance between him and like a lot, pretty much everybody else, except for my mom, and even then she's still kind of down there, right, so, right, so, she's probably like the one person, like, he'd probably listen to, so, yeah, um, uh, with that in mind, yeah, it was either that or going to his parents, I don't know, probably should have thought of that, anyway, um, <clears throat> so, I'm, uh, yeah, I go downstairs, I go to my mom, say, like, hey, can we talk? You know, because I just want to be, because, like, my step down's downstairs as well. He can he can hear me, he can see me. So I'm like, hey, can we talk? You know, and I kind of motion to go talk outside, go talk somewhere else, etc. My mom just continues sitting there, just, like, basically nothing. You know, like, oh, yeah, it's no big deal. Yeah, just talk to me here kind of thing. I'm, a, I'm like, no. 
Well, I don't say no, but then I just like kind of like, you know, yeah, like, hey, you know, yeah, yeah. I think my stepdad catches on to that because he's like, hey, are, are you talking about what just happened there? You know, and I'm like, yeah, um, uh, yeah, don't threaten to put your hands on her. You know, I'm, uh, he says, Something along the lines of like, yeah, hey, um, uh, you know, that's that's my kid. You can't tell me how to parent my kid. Um, uh, and then like, kind of like, says like, oh, you know, like, you know, you should have, you should have seen how he looked, or something like that. Yeah, he gave me a bad look. You know, like, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Because I, I already know. Like, I already know, like, it doesn't matter what look he could have given you. He could have, like, cursed your entire family within a glare, within a gaze. Doesn't matter, you know, it's just, no. You don't base, like, all this stuff on a look. That's like going on the street, somebody looks at you funny, and then you just beat, no, that doesn't make sense. You don't do that. You don't do that. You keep it to yourself. Obviously, if they threaten you, sure, go ahead, you know, whoop them, sure, why not, you know, but like, not, not, no, somebody looks at you funny, there could be a number of different things running through their head, and on top of that, hey, something could just be going on with you, maybe you got something on you, on your face, you know, so, something, like, people make funny faces, it just is how it is, everybody's face is different, right, you can't just base everything on a look, something could be going on with the person. Right? Exactly, right? So, that's my logic. You can't just do that, okay? <sighs> so, you know, that's, that's, you know, and I'm like, I don't care. Don't touch him. Don't, don't put hands on him. Don't, no, you can't beat him. You know, he's like, well, you know, basically says the same exact thing, except louder. Um, uh, and then, you know, Talking about how, you know, he's the parent. He can do that. Um, uh, and then he talks about how, you know, he's the he's the one that calls shots. Because, you know, he's paying the bills. He's doing this. He's doing that. He's providing. Um, he's doing all this stuff for me. And he doesn't have to. I don't know. Basically saying for me to drop it because I'm being, like, ungrateful or something like that. Because he's doing all of these wonderful things for me. Which, you know, yeah. He's like, you know, he's giving me a roof over my head. He's giving me food. Yeah, you know, roof over my head, food, right? So, yeah, so he's doing that. And, you know, sure, yeah. Same exact time, though, the next thing he does, not so much. Um, anyway, so, so, yeah, he says that. Um, he's basically just not really, he's not seeing the error at all. He's just being incredibly stubborn and just... Telling me how I'm so wrong, you know. I I I couldn't really take it. Something in me just flicked, just like that. Um. Uh, oh yeah, and uh, I forgot to mention my mom's seeing all this. By the way, she's just sitting there, just kind of watching me. Cause I'm like standing right next to her. I'm standing like right next to her. Like I'm standing here. Okay, I'm standing here. My mom's sitting down like right here. Right, just like right here. My stepdad is over there. Actually, I kind of like right next to you guys, like right about like, like right there, right? So he's like right there, yeah. And I'm like, I'd say like over here maybe, like we're not too far off from each other, right? But yeah, that's the overall gist of things, right? So, so yeah, I'm like standing here because I was, you know, I was wanting to talk to mom, right? So I'm still standing here because, you know, I'm not thinking it's going to go anywhere until, you know, this moment where everything flips off, um, uh, for me anyway. Something in me just snaps. I snap. Because I'm, I'm tired of hearing this. I don't care. I don't care. I want him to not threaten to beat my little brother. I don't want him to threaten my little brother at all. Like, just simple as that. Like, I don't care what he does. Don't do it. You know, don't do it. And, like, I almost have, like, a guttural roar in me. I'm like yelling off the top of my lungs saying like 
No, you fucking won't. You know? I'm like, you will not. You're not going to kick his ass. You're not going to beat his ass. You're not going to do all these things, right? I say one of them. I, I say one of them. It's kind of it's kind of hard to remember some of it, right? Um. Then immediately Kevin like gets up, walks to me. Um. Because uh, I mean, I'll admit, like I, I I looked aggressive. I'll be honest. It's more of like. I'll be honest though. To me, um, I was like protective, defensive, things like that. And it was like almost like a parental urge of like defending a child, you know, like, which is why it was like almost guttural, you know, like how I acted. Like it was just an instant, just like, yeah. And then I, I was like clenching my fists on my side. I was like on my side. And then I took a step forward for a second. And then he got up and then he like walked to me pretty assertively a bit maybe a little bit aggressive i don't know either way like he's like walking up to me sizing me up getting my face you know to me like hey you better fucking watch yourself i was gonna knock your ass fucking out you know kind of shit um i'm kind of telling this in a bit of like a calmer manner but you have to understand this is all yelling yelling screaming kind of shit like, and he's just doing it, like, right in my fucking face. Um, uh, tell me how he's gonna knock my block off and all of that. Except it's really scary. Um, he's, like, saying it, like, I'm, 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 like, terrified. I'm, like, shaking, petrified. Um, uh, I am. I'm, like, and, like, yeah, I'll admit, I kind of look like I'm putting my hands up. But then again, I'm also just kind of blocking myself because, like, I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm, like, shaking like a fucking leaf. I am. I'm like, eh, kind of thing, you know. Um, uh, but apparently I looked like I was going to swing. Um, uh, don't worry, he didn't hit me. Thank God. But, you know, he told me multiple times, like, hey, I'm going to knock you out. I'm going to do this. Make sure your next move is the right one kind of thing. Um, uh, I don't know why the heck he kept saying he was going to, like, knock me out, though. Because, like, I... I didn't feel like I was anywhere near a threat. I didn't feel like I was, considering how scared I felt and looked. Like, I... Like, later on, he called me a bitch. He told me to stop acting like a bitch. Straight up. And yet he's telling... Like, apparently, I was looking threatening. Apparently. But on the other hand, to his point of view, I'm a bitch. So is a bitch threatening? Like, yeah. I, didn't, I just didn't understand his logic. Okay, so like, whatever. Um, and I didn't understand my mother's logic later. Um, so, yeah, so that happened. You know, and then we kind of go back and forth a little bit. And I'm telling him, you know, like, that's, like, you know, don't do that. He's saying, I don't care, I'm his parent kind of thing. Blah, blah, blah. It's not going anywhere. On top of that, like, it's, like, he's yelling. I, I go quiet for the most part, though, because, like, I don't know. I'm, like, I'm, I'm petrified. I mostly just say, like, don't, no, kind of thing like that. I'm not, like, saying these full-fledged arguments. You know, like, I'm too scared to say it all. Like, I'm, uh... So, yeah, I'm, uh... Eventually, though, he kind of tells me, like, yeah, hey, you know, there's a hotel down the road. You can go. You know, if you don't fucking like it, you can just leave. You know, the door's right there. You can take it. And then he threatens me. I'm, uh, you know, saying he's gonna, you know, knock me out. Things like that. And then, you know, kind of very shortly after that, he kind of... I just go. I just go. I don't want to deal with it. I'm scared. I'm petrified. And on top of that, I just don't feel like I'm even welcome there in the first place. Plus, I just don't want anything to do with it. My mom's not saying anything. My stepdad's not changing his point of view. Nothing's going to change. You know? I think, like, their defense was, like, oh, you know, I've never done it. I was just mad. Like, um, I don't care how mad you get. You don't take it on your kid. You know? You don't do that. 
And on top of that, you didn't even apologize. You didn't apologize. You just said, oh, you're not in trouble. No, don't tell your kid that. Don't tell your kid that. Oh, it's okay because you're not in trouble. Okay, yeah. You know, yeah, it's okay if you uh, take your anger out on me if I'm not in trouble. Like, no, that's not how this works. No. No. It doesn't matter whether they're in trouble or not. You don't let them. You don't do that. You don't do that. Okay? Like, okay, what if they were in trouble? Does that justify it? No. No. So, yeah. I left. I had on um, a hoodie about as thin as this. It's not, it's not very thin. It, it's not very thick. It's, uh, it's thin. And then I had some pants, boxers, and shoes. That was it. Oh, yeah, and then I have my phone in my wallet. Right. I just happen to have them on me. Thank God. I don't know. So, yeah. I didn't have socks on, though. And I'm in Michigan. It's snowing. It's freezing. It's, like, just above freezing. Just above freezing. Wind chills probably just add zero or at some points below zero. Right? So, I'm, like, freezing my nuts off. So, like, as soon as I get out there, I'm, like, bawling my eyes out. I've already been, like, crying. I'm, like, bawling my eyes out upset as fuck. Like, I'm, like, kicking snow and shit like that. I'm wondering what the fuck to do, where to go, everything like that. Like, I'm just, I'm, like, walking around just trying to figure things out. And eventually, you know, I um, kind of figure out, like, hey, I don't know what to do. Maybe I should call somebody because, you know, I mean, you know, this isn't going anywhere. I've been walking around for, like, 30, 40 minutes. So... Yeah, and plus I'm freezing. I'm freezing. You know, like my hands are shaking. Everything's shaking at this point. Not even just because I'm upset, but because it's so cold. You know, my coughing, nose, etc. Right. So, I call somebody to try and like help me out logically. <clears throat> call my old boss. They didn't pick up. So I called another superior of mine that was in the military. Right. And they helped me out. They give me some great advice. Tell me to calm down. I tell them the situation. You know, they obviously tell me how fucked up it is and everything. Um, um, like, I wish I could describe it better, but it's kind of hard to, so I don't really want to think about it, it's been a few days, um, yeah, I mean, I've related a few times already, you know, so it should be a bit more readily in my mind, but I really, 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 really don't want to think about it, it's so much harder to talk about something you really don't ever want to think about. So yeah, I uh, call them, they give me some advice, you know, do some breathing, think, don't do anything stupid. On top of that, go to somewhere warm, go inside a store, go inside a McDonald's, whatever, right? Go inside somewhere, be warm, you know, because you're freezing out there. You don't got anything on, you know, so I take their advice. I go over to like the next door and I'm just trying to figure things out. I'm just like, okay, what do I do? Da, 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 da. I think I'm going to call my dad. Because, you know, he's also in Michigan. Fun fact. That's great, right? Because I couldn't really think of anybody else that's nearby. Um, like, family of Kevin. That's the only other family I got around here um, that I knew of. Um, uh, other than Dad. I was thinking about them, but I'm like, no, 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 no. I'd probably see Kevin, so let's not. Um, uh, so, do that. So, yeah, um, I... I call my dad. He doesn't pick up initially. I, I know he's going to call me back, though. Because I don't call him. I don't, I don't really text him. I don't really call him all too often. Then again, he's not the greatest with it either. It's just that we both suck at texting and keeping up with each other. Just is how it is. It's not like we don't love each other. It just is how it is. I don't know. I mean, you could ask Louie and my friends. I mean, people that watch this, they can probably tell you. They'll be like, yeah, he sucks at texting. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> it's, not, it's not the case. Um, uh, but yeah, you know, I call him, whatever. He doesn't pick up. I know he's gonna like call me here in a minute. So I'm just trying to figure out like what to do next. In the meantime, I'm like, uh, I need to get something to eat. So I, I like, I go somewhere. I go to the Dairy Queen next next door to this store, and then I go sit down and I eat a burger. I'm, uh, that's all I want. I just wanted just something in my stomach, just to think, because I hadn't really eaten eaten that day. So yeah, I did that. Sat down, ate. 
I, I, I think I got the call from Dad then, so, you know, I picked it up. You know, I told him about it. I told a general thing, um, um, you know. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, I've told him all of it now, so, yeah, he understands it. But, yeah, at the time, uh, yeah, like, immediately, though, like, as soon as he could say something, he's like, yeah, sure, yeah, you can stay with me, it's fine. You know, yeah, I'm, uh, so when do you want to do this, et cetera? Like, he's already, like, planning it out. He's, like, perfectly fine with it. So, you know, I tell him about it. I'm like, I'm going to go stay in a hotel for the night, and then I'll figure from there. So and then I book uh, two nights at a hotel. Uh, I, like, call them over the phone because I can't. I'm not near a hotel, but I'm figuring, like, okay, let me do this first. Um, because I don't know when enough money is going to stay in my account. I'm usually pretty bad about that, so I just want to get it paid for as soon as possible. So I do that. I'm like, yo, yeah, reserve me two nights. Do that. So, so I'm walking. It's a while before I get to the hotel. It takes a while. It probably takes me another like two hours. So before those two hours, I was probably out for like another hour, right? Another hour and a half probably. Just trying to figure things out because I've been pacing a bit, etc. Because I do pacing a lot. Like if I'm on talking on the phone, I pace. If I'm thinking, I pace. Like, um, it's kind of what I do. So I've been walking a lot in the cold. I'm going to be shocked I'm not, like, sick in the next couple of days. Because, like, I should be. The only thing I really feel right now is, like, congestion. Um, maybe, like, a bit, like, dehydrated. But, I mean, that's something I can fix here. That's no problem. But anyway, I'll describe the situation here in a minute, but yeah, so, you know, I get to the hotel eventually, and I'm not really sure what to do, to be honest, I just, I was such a mess. I was crying and bawling pretty much the entire time. Two hours straight crying. It was really painful. Not seeing my mom do anything, leaving my brother, having my, having Kevin threatened me whenever I thought I was safe I thought I would be there for a while I had a job lined up I, would... I had a lot going on for me over there but I felt like I had to leave I felt like I had to leave so go to the hotel I'm not sure what to do so I call I call up a friend I call up Salem is my best friend and tell him the skinning i tell him all of it tell me thank god i got got the fuck out of there you know, shit like that but it's fucking awful you know like, basically that's just what i hear from other people you know i'm like talking to some other people just trying to get some support because i'm fucked up i'm fucked up in the head at that point i'm so so upset so just oh my god fuck my world was broken basically because i relied on them you know, like, I I wasn't sure what to do. I just got out of the military. And as you guys know, I got a, I got a pretty fucked up past. I got a, like, I've been dealing with a lot of shit while I was in the military. You know, I was, like, grieving. I was, like, an alcoholic. I was doing all this. I had some suicide attempts. Like, I've been through a lot. And I was, like, trying to, like, recover. And then this shit fucking happens. And my world just turned upside down for, like, the 27th time. You know, like, holy fucking shit, you know. Right after fucking New Year's. Again, I swear to God, New Year's. New fucking years. Horrible fucking... Oh, my God. Let me tell you why, okay? First time something bad happens, okay? There you go. Anyway. Um, first time something bad happens, right? In 2018, my grandpa dies. My grandpa had been going through, like, five different types of cancers. He was going through them. Oh, my God. Like, you know, he was, like, expected to live for, like, a month or two, right? Well, eventually got him on New Year's, like probably like right before midnight, you know. God, it was sad. It was sad. He was like a walking skeleton at the end of it all, you know. It was really bad. I don't know. Here, we'll go elsewhere. I'll go later. Yeah. So, you know, he's like a walking skeleton towards the end of it all, right? Um. Uh, plus, I just want to sit down. Um, uh, so yeah, <sighs> that happened, 
And then in uh, 2021's New Year's, um, uh, I got, well, my, uh, my ex cheated on me on New Year's, actually. I didn't discover until like the next couple of days, but right around that time, yep, was a uh, fun. That was a horrible experience, let me tell you. Because I mean, like, uh, she was like manipulative and quite a few other things. Um, it was a really bad time. Like, I loved that woman so fucking much. I did. I loved her, and it just it broke my heart. Even now, I still kind of love her, believe it or not. I hate it sometimes, but I do. Even though it's been two years. Almost now. Yeah, it hasn't been two years. Anyway. No, actually. Well, it's been about a year and a half. I'll give it that. Anyway. Because I, I knew her, like, some months before. So, yeah, almost a year and a half coming up. Um. So, yeah, anyway. I'm, uh, yeah. So that happened. I went on a drinking rampage. Left through a strew of things. Became an alcoholic. Had to go into rehab and rehab. I figured I was probably sexually abused as a kid. From there, I became suicidal multiple times. I attempted suicide. I went through all these different things. I, once again, went through another grieving process. Once again, I've been through multiple. Like, it was awful. Awful things happened after that New Year's. And then this New Year's. You know, just shortly afterwards, I have to deal with this shit. New Year's itself is terrible. Like, because I've been fighting cravings of drinking. Because everybody was drinking. Like, well, basically my entire family was drinking. You know, like, mom, Kevin... The extended family, they were basically all drinking. All, all the adults were. They were talking about drinking, etc. And I was fighting cravings. I was shaking at some points. Especially on New Year's. I had to step out of the house. I had to, I had to walk. I walked for like a few hours. Uh, like an hour, I would say. Like, yeah, it was, it was bad. Um, it was like actually at midnight. I couldn't be there for New Year's. I couldn't. I didn't, I didn't celebrate it. Nor did I want to. It's not a good time for me. Anyway, so. I gotta shave sometime, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna shave. I'll talk. Yeah. Um, anyway, so. So, yeah. That, that happened. I, um, yeah, I got in the hotel. I drank that night. First time in over a year. So last time I drank was just uh, like a day or two after Christmas. The last Christmas. Last. Anyway, um, I love that song, by the way. Um, last Christmas, by the way. Um, by Wham. Great song. Um. <laughs> um, but yeah. See, I drank that night. I had some white claws or whatever. It wasn't really all that much. But honestly, that doesn't even really matter that much to me. The night following, that really mattered. Um, uh, so yeah, I drank. I, I slept a bit. Next day. Um, so that night, I uh, texted my mom saying like, "Hey, could you uh, could you bring my stuff?" I didn't even want my stuff initially, but my friends mentioned like, "Hey, you should probably get your stuff." So I'm like, "Okay." So I go text my mom like, "Hey, can you bring my stuff?" Um, uh, she's like, "Sure, yeah." Um, like, um, uh, and then, like, tomorrow, like, the next day, I, um, uh, text her about it again, like, hey, um, uh, I just wanna make sure, like, um, uh, could you, uh, could you bring it before I leave? Cause I'm having to leave, like, tomorrow. She's like, oh yeah, sure, I'll bring it by today. Like, a couple hours later, she brings my stuff, right? Um, and I had gotten drinks, actually, right before that. I... Got a bottle of Grey Goose. It was like a, a fifth of vodka, 40% alcohol content, otherwise known as 80 proof, right? So, 
Yeah, so I got I got that. I got like some OJ and like hey, I was gonna make like mixed drinks, right? So it could go down easier, essentially. Um, uh, yeah, that was bad. Um, so yeah, that day I didn't really eat. Day before I ate though, I, I ate quite a bit. I had like fucking yeah, I had like pizza. I had pizza, I remember. Yeah, I had pizza at the Dairy Queen. I had uh, Dairy Queen, and then uh, before, whenever I had the White Claws, I also got, like, pizza with it. Um, uh, yeah. So I got pizza, and I had White Claw. And then, yeah, that's that was what I ate yesterday. And then on top of that, I was dehydrated. It was pretty bad. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, with that in mind, I woke up. Um, uh, woke up at, like, 9 a.m., something like that. A couple hours later, my mom comes by to drop off my stuff. Um, uh, that was interesting because I made one request I was like hey just don't bring Kevin don't bring Kevin I don't want to see Kevin you know I'm, uh, for obvious reasons so I thought I'm, uh, so yeah she comes Kevin's there I don't care he doesn't come out he doesn't say hey thank god I'm, uh, I mean he understood that he knows why the fuck I didn't ask him to be there he fucking knows well so yeah I mean I understand that thank god I'm uh so, yeah, um, uh, so, you know, she's getting my stuff out. My baby sister's there. That shit hurt. A lot. I know they weren't purposely trying to do that. They weren't. But it hurt. Because, you know, I wasn't able to really say goodbye. She just said, hey. She looks so happy to see me. She's pointing at me like, Jesse. That shit hurt. A lot. A fucking lot. <laughs> so anyway. Um, I get my stuff. Mom says she wants to talk to me. She talks to me. Um, it was like inside the hotel. right? So Because we are just outside the hotel. She comes inside. She's like wanting to say a piece. That's what she says to me. She's like, let me say my piece. Because she says that she's upset. Like, she's just as upset, if not more upset than me. So I'm thinking, okay, she's on my side. You know, like, wow. You know, like, so I immediately kind of start saying, like, wow. You know, like, I, I figured, you know, because, you know, like, that's so bad, blah, blah, blah. But she kind of cuts me off. She's like, no, let me finish. Because, you know, yeah, this might be the last time I can. So she talks about that she's upset because of how I acted and how I was childish I was kind of blanking I'm uh I thought maybe she was talking about how I like stood up to Kevin I'm like what do you mean like, do you mean like how I acted because like that's it's like no no um it's you know, she's talking about how I was a man standing up to Kevin. You know, standing up to him. I was a man. There was two men being men. I hated that because, as you guys know, I don't really like being called a male necessarily. Um, uh, I don't mind going by, like, he, him pronouns. I don't really care so much about that. But being called a man is a whole different thing. Though. I don't like that. I'm not a man. Just call me a person, please. Thank God. Just call me grown, honestly. Just say I'm grown, you know? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not My whole my whole thing isn't in shot. I just... I don't know. So, yeah. No, I'm grown. You know, he's grown. Both grown people and, you know... Yeah, apparently we wanted to... It was, it was good, because, you know, yeah... I was, a, I was a man then, quote unquote. And I turned to a child. Because I was insensitive. I wasn't very understanding. Because I asked my mom not to come without Kevin. And that was childish of me. You know, I was the guy that threatened to knock me out. But anyway, I was childish. I'm a, I was a man then, and it was like almost disappointing. It was upsetting. To her. 
That's what she was upset about. Yeah. That's what she wanted to say. I asked her about a couple things. Like, yeah, what do you think about that? He's like, she's basically like, well, you know, he's never actually done anything. Um, uh, you know, he's never actually done anything. And, you know, the whole parenting thing, basically, again. Um, uh, no, you know what? She doesn't even really go into that all too much because she knows very well, like, I, I respect for that for the most part, but she knows my stance on that, like, just simple as that. Um, uh, so she defends it by saying that he's never done it. Um, uh, but, yeah, and then on top of that, apparently, like I said, it looked like I was going to swing. Which made no sense. Like, but yeah, it was totally fine because it looked like I was going to swing. So therefore it was okay to threaten me like that and tell me that I should just fucking go. Um, yeah, anyway. Um, sure, yeah. Um, so yeah, there, were, there was nothing else that was said really. A um, bit of awkward silence. I was upset. I was, I was crying. I was mad. It was a lot of different things. My mom didn't show hardly any emotion. And if she was, she was hiding it. I couldn't really tell too much personally. I was so upset, it was hard for me to tell. Believe me, I was trying to read her, though. I tried. I couldn't really pull anything. I know she was I know, I know she was upset. I couldn't really tell what emotions, though. She just looked mad. If anything. I couldn't tell whether she was sad or anything. It sounded like she was mad, though, personally. I couldn't tell. It sucks, because I usually can tell. My mom really didn't want me to read me. Want me to read her. Anyway. So, yeah. It ends off with my mom basically telling me how she can't say goodbye. Like, I'm sorry, but I can't say goodbye. You know, basically just doesn't want to give me any confirmation on this, doesn't want to, like, doesn't want to support me in any kind of way, what I was doing. She told me that she wanted me to stay, and I'm like, I'm sorry, I want to stay too, but I can't. I can't. I can't stay with that. I can't support that. She's like, okay. Then she just got up and went. She didn't hug me. She didn't say goodbye. She didn't show hardly any emotion. It, it hurt a lot. It hurt a lot. I wanted to stay. I did. I wanted to stay. I wish I could have. I wish it would have. I wish it would have went well. I wish that never happened. You know, like, believe me. I wish I wouldn't have had to go through all these horrible emotions. I wish it all would have just been great, but it didn't. So therefore, I'm having to leave. But apparently, it's bad of me to go. Make any sense? Huh? Yeah. So yeah, um, they left. And that was the last time I saw them. It really hurt because I didn't get to say goodbye to Sophia, to Colt. Those are my siblings. I didn't mean to name them. Um, it's fine. I wanted to say goodbye to them, but I couldn't. Um, so yeah, I'm uh, like then and there. I kind of like I mean I have a lot of thoughts on like what I should do for my siblings, but I'm much rather keep that private for right now until I do do something, you know? Because I know my mom, she's probably gonna watch this. My stepdad might watch this. And, yeah. So with that in mind, yeah, I'm going to keep that private for right now until I'm ready to discuss that. So, right. Um, after that, I drank heavily. I eventually just ended up drinking the whole thing of Grey Goose. I got fucked up. I got really fucked up. I drank so fucking much. 
I got to the point where I couldn't walk. I couldn't crawl. I couldn't do anything. I barely made it to the toilet. Barely. Barely. I puked my lungs out a few times. Not like they lit they didn't literally come out, but you get it. Like I, I puked a lot. I hate puking. I have a fear of puking. Ugh. Now I fucking hate the thought of it. I'm tired. I thought I slept well. I didn't. I lied. I lied to my dad. I didn't sleep well. I'll talk about some of the reasons why. Um, in a minute. This is going to be a long episode, if you can tell. This isn't even... This isn't over. Um, so yeah, this will be... God, who knows how long this one will be. An hour and a half, probably? God. I feel sorry for the people that actually want to watch this. It's a whole lot of pausing. It's a whole lot of me. Good. Yeah. Like I said, I like to do these off the cuff. It's just how I am. Um, that was something. It's okay. It's okay. It's like the dishwasher being a dishwasher. Um, anyway. Um, so yeah, I drank. It got to the point where I didn't know what to do. I was panicking. I was really anxious. So I, um, uh, I called a couple people. Um, and one of them was one of my superiors. I told them about how I'd been drinking a lot. And I didn't really know what to do. And he suggested, um, uh, that, you know, if I don't know what to do and I can't do anything, that I should call emergency services. So I do. I do later anyway, because I hadn't drank like the whole thing by then, but I did. Whenever I called, it was bad. I hardly remember anything from it. I didn't black out or anything like that, but I did co go in and out of consciousness whenever they came. That was pretty bad. I closed my eyes several times thinking I was going to go to sleep. Could have very well went to a coma kind of shit, so... Best I didn't. Um, they kept me awake, though. Good on them. The paramedics were amazing. Very kind. Very nice. Very understanding. And I was about as polite as could be. I, I really was. I thought I'd be rude. No. Thank God. Even whenever I was drunk, I was incredibly, incredibly respectful to people. I was. I always tried to be as respectful and kind. I was a little bit funny. You know, I tried to make a joke out of things. Because, you know, it's tough seeing this kind of thing. You know, from somebody so young... Seeing them so much, seeing them in so much despair, it's hard to see. So I tried to joke whenever I could. Whenever I was asked to describe, you know, why I drank, you know, that's never everything came out. You know, it was hard for me to really hold back. So yeah, I'm, uh, in between, yeah, I joke, I joke a lot, because I mean it was hard. Plus, you know, on top of that, they probably deal with a lot of stuff already. So I just. Wanted to kind of lighten things up a bit. Same with hospital. Hospital was super nice. Um, uh, the only thing that isn't nice is probably going to be my bill. But <laughs> um, yeah, that's down the line. I don't got to worry about that right now. Um, uh, I do plan on paying it eventually, obviously. But as of right now, no. I just need to focus on me. As my dad told me. Anyway, so yeah, that happens. I have to... I had to spend quite a bit of the night in the hospital due to, you know, having to, like, wait for me to sober up and everything like that. You know, they drew my blood for some labs and things like that, but, yeah. Um, but, yeah, it turned out okay. I was so rough, though, coming out of there. Fuck. I basically just spent almost the entire night there. That was bad. Cause I went in there probably at like 6 p.m. I drank that early. Like like I said, I drank as soon as my like my mom left. Drank. And I stayed there until like midnight basically in the hospital. Yeah. Not a fun time. Um Yeah, they didn't even put an IV in me, that's the thing. Apparently I was uh, fine enough not to have an IV. On top of that, I mean I just I was so out of it. I was so, I couldn't, I, I couldn't sit up for part, for part of the night. It was bad. 
But eventually, though, yeah, I was able to walk. I was able to sober up in there, so it was all right. However, though, it was terrible at some point, so, like, yeah. Like, the way that they got me onto the ambulance, I could tell it was really bad. They had to do so much. They had to have, like, four, they had to have, like, three or four people helping me get to there. The paramedics themselves couldn't do it. They had to have, like, the fire, the fire department that arrived on scene, scene to help me out as well. I just, I could not get up in the slightest. I was basically like a dead body. They were dragging me. Like, it was bad. It was really bad. And even whenever I got into the hospital, I could just barely move. Barely. Terrible. Um, so, yeah, with that in mind, like, I needed to be there. I didn't have anywhere else to go. I couldn't just go to, like, a family to make sure I was all right. No, I had to go to the hospital. That's all I had. So I went. They kept asking me if I had somewhere to go. Like, hey, could you have somewhere? Could you have somebody to pick you up? Could you spend the night with somebody? I'm like, nope. Nobody. Nope, 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 nope. I mentioned my dad a couple times. They're like, hey, could your dad? I'm like, nope. Because my dad's in a like, completely different part of Michigan. Um, so, yeah, he couldn't have came. Even if he wanted to. Like, you know, like, he couldn't have. The weather, how long it takes for somebody to get over there, it would have taken so fucking long. A very, very long time. Like, by the time you would have gotten there, I would have been out, kind of thing. So, yeah. So, with that in mind, I basically just spent the night there. I got out, went home, I talked to some people. It's like, it was bad. It was bad. So, I talked to some friends. I apologized to some of them, because, I mean... I shouldn't have drank that much. And I, I worried some people. I did. And for those that I haven't talked to, I hope that, you know, either you see this video or you see a text coming up from me. Now that I'm in a safe environment, I, I feel like I can actually, you know, do all that I can, you know. So, yeah. So, after that, I am uh, slept. I slept it off. I felt awful, by the way. I felt so bad. I felt like I was half dead by the end of it. Even waking up, I felt like trash. It wasn't a hangover, but I just felt bad. I just felt bad. Like I said, dead. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, I thought I had a bus like that afternoon. So, I, I got up. I'm, like, preparing everything. I'm putting everything in a bag. Because I had to go through my bags. Well, it turns out some of the stuff's missing. Um, uh, like, I figured. Even whenever I was drunk, I figured. Um, uh, like, my laptop charger wasn't there. Um, that was the thing I noticed. Um, uh, whenever I got here, I noticed some other things. Like, one of my shoes isn't in there. I have, like, a pair of Converse's. I only have one of the pair. And then uh, PS2 games. None of my PS2 games are there. I'm, uh, yeah, that sucked. Um, they, I know why. I know why the PS2 games aren't there, though. I know exactly why. And that's because, like, they were on my little brother's side. Because I let, I let him play on the consoles. I let him play on the consoles that I had. You know, I, I set them up and he could just play on them. Yeah. So they probably didn't go looking over there because it's like, oh, you know, it's probably not going to be over there. They knew that the consoles were there. They knew that. They didn't know the games were over there. That's the thing. Um, uh, I told them I had games, though, so I was kind of shocked that none of the games were there. Anyway, I discovered that here, though. So, anyway. Um, so, yeah. I figured the bus was that afternoon, so I left. At, like, 10. I got a cab to go over there. I didn't know what it was next to. I knew it was next to, like, um, an H&R block. I was just going to sit there and wait. But they were like, oh, no, you shouldn't go wait in the cold. I like, go go to this library because the library is like right next door. So I go to the library, tell them about it, and they're like, "Okay, well, just so you know, I'm uh, the bus probably ain't coming in the afternoon. It always comes at midnight." Well, I messed up the times, um, because uh, <laughs> the bus should have came at midnight that night. I'm like, oh, I missed it. Um, I was really mad about that. Um, so yeah, I thought it was actually. Um, I thought I was gonna have to wait at the library for like six hours, like. When I told my friend about it and I showed them the ticket, they're like, wait. 
That says for... T Jesse, you missed the bus. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> it was Salem. I actually told that, too. So yeah, I told Salem about it. Salem was like, no, no, no. Dude, dude, you missed it. I'm like, fuck. Dude. <laughs> so I called the bus. They, they fixed it in like five minutes. So it's no problem. So anyway, so I had to wait until midnight, though. Library closed at like six. I didn't really know what to do, so I had to go... I had to stay warm, so... Initially, though, I just stayed outside. For like an hour. It's like below zero, probably, in terms of wind chill. It was awful. The winds are horrific, biting through everything. I had actually a really good jacket on at that point. I had a jacket, I had jeans, I had, like, all this stuff. Like, it was good. But it didn't help. It felt awful. Eventually, I figured, like, okay, I have to go somewhere. All my bags and stuff were outside, though. But I'm, like, figuring, like, who the fuck's going to be out here? Like, no. And plus, everybody knows that the bus stop, it's a small town. Crime isn't really so much an issue there, so it's whatever. So I'm like, okay, I'll leave it here, and I'll just go. Um, so I go to a bar next door. I just go sit in there. I have a drink. Because so I'm like, you know, I, I should probably get something. I don't want to just sit here and be a deadbeat, you know. So I get that. I get a pizza, and I get some, like, breadsticks, right? I didn't eat all of it. God, no. Um, uh, I ate some of the pizza on the way on the bus, but anyway. So I sit there for a bit, uh... The people there are really nice, though. They are. They're really nice. Um, uh, it wasn't until the next point. <laughs> I had a good time at the next point. Oh, God. It's the one time I'm actually okay with how I drank. Like, because I had somebody watching out for me. I had somebody else there. On top of that, I knew when to stop. When to stop. Like, when the party, the party was going, I didn't let it go until, well, it was too late kind of thing. So, I knew when to stop, you know. I went a little bit more than I should have, because, you know, I'm like, I should probably sober up a little bit before I get on the bus. I kind of forgot, though, like, hey, once you go on the cold, that's also really good at sobering you up. Um, uh, yeah. Anyway, so in the bar, though, holy crap, dude. And at first, I didn't want anything to do with drinking. I was just going to sit there. So I'm like, okay, I'm just going to drink water. I'm going to maybe have something to eat. You know, nothing like that. Nothing like that. Because once again, I don't, I want to support the bar, you know, so I, you know, again, I don't want to just sit there and just not do it. Although they understood, they're like, oh yeah, I get it, you know, it's cold as fuck out there, you know, yeah, you can stay here, it's fine. So I could have ordered water, they would have been perfectly fine with it, I don't care. So, yeah. But anyway, so, you know, I'm sitting there, and I see everybody else drinking, I'm like, you know what, yeah, I'll get, pour me a drink. You know, so, I don't really know what to drink, though, it's like, you know, I've never been inside a bar, so, I don't know. Last bar, I had to do the same thing. I, I'm like, do you have, like, a drink list? Like, no. <laughs> so, I'm like, uh, I don't know, I usually drink, like, vodkas, and they made me, like, this mix. It was okay. I didn't really like it. But I finished it anyway, because I don't, I don't like putting things to waste. I was a tiny bit tipsy off that. It was, like, hardly anything, though. Like, it was a drink. It was fine. And it was pretty weak on top of that. I just didn't like the taste of it. The taste didn't taste that good. However, my man, though, at the bar over there, he knew, he knew a pretty good drink. I liked it. Um, uh. It was like this, uh, this, like, fruity vodka. And then squeeze some lemon, and then this, like, lemon drink. It was like this lemon soda or something like that. Put that in there. And then, yeah. So, like, fresh lemon, and then this, like, lemon energy drink, I believe, or something like that. I don't know. And then, yeah, the vodka mixed in there. So, so overall, like, it tasted great. Oh, my God, it did. Woo! It tastes so good. It's either, like, lemon or orange. I think it's probably orange. Probably an orange soda with the lemon, like, squeezed in there. Oh, it tasted so good. I drank that thing, like, woo, yeah. That went down so so easy. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, I had a good time, though. The people there were so friendly. So, so friendly. So nice. Holy crap. They, so, so nice. I remember, I remember Kevin telling me, like, oh, you know, like, if I would have acted, like, somewhat feminine or whatever, or whatever, they didn't give two flying fucks who the hell I was. Holy shit. They, like, they just like my, they like my personality, they like my attitude. I was, holy shit, life of the party. Like, let me tell you, holy shit, I was talking it up with everybody. I was talking it up. I was cracking jokes left and right. I was so bubbly. Oh, my God. It was amazing. I'm like, holy crap, where the fuck did this come from? <laughs> like, what? Me? No fucking way. So, you know, 
Um, yeah. Oh, that's my dad, actually. Oh, yo. Oh, dang. He probably had tests in school. Came back, you know, so, yeah. Um, uh, he's probably not going to work today. Um, I'll make a part two in here, but here in a bit, though. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in a bit.